Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clone snowflakes and also have them falling down uh, vertically from the sky. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. So to begin with, you need to get the snowflake sprite. So go ahead and delete Scratch Cat in the bottom right corner by clicking on the garbage can. And I'm just gonna move my camera over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so right here where it says, choose a sprite in the bottom right corner, go ahead and click there. And then in the search box in the top left, I am going to search for snowflake. Here it is. Now, as you can see, it is quite large. So I am going to shrink it down to a size 25 by clicking where it says size underneath the stage, you can change the size of the sprite. There we go. 25 seems to be good. Um, now I want to choose a backdrop. So in the bottom right corner where it says choose a backdrop, go ahead and click there. And I'm going to pick the backdrop that is called stars. I like this because it really contrasts with the light colored snowflake. Okay, let's go ahead and begin cloning our snowflakes. I'm gonna give it a quick title. I'm just going to call it cloning snowflakes falling. There we go, okay. To start our program, I want it to begin when the green flag is clicked. So that's the first block I'm going to get. When the green flag is clicked, I want the program to run. Now, we are actually going to hide this very first initial sprite because I only want the clones to show. So let's go ahead and hide this block and then we'll only have the clones of it show on the stage. So hide this original sprite, okay? Now, we need to make those clones. So go ahead and under orange control, scroll down a little bit until you see create clone of myself. Now, it's just a good practice to have a weight block in between the clones being created. So we're just going to have it be 0.5 seconds. And for the point, I just used the period on the keyboard. Okay, now we need this to be continuous. So we're, we're going to put these inside a forever block. Slide these two in here. All right, done. Our first sequence is done. We're almost there. All right. Now, go ahead and under orange control, scroll down until you see when I start as a clone. We want the clones to show up. So we need to get the show block under looks. Scroll down a little bit until you see the show block, okay? Now, we need to tell this these clones of this snowflake, we need to tell them where to begin. We need to tell them where to start when they do show up. So go ahead under blue motion, get a go to X, Y. Now, we want the snowflake starting anywhere along the top of the stage, which is basically about negative 240 to 240 on the X axis. So go under green operators, I want you to get a pick random. And we are going to tell the clones of the snowflake that they can start appearing, showing, anywhere from negative 240 to 240. And we want the Y position to be, let's see, at the top of the screen is about 180. So we'll have this be 180. Okay, so now the clones of this snowflake know that they can begin anywhere up here at the top of the stage. Now we can make the snowflake start to fall, the clones of the snowflake. So to move down, we will do change Y by negative five, okay? And that will make the clones fall down vertically. So under blue motion, get the block that says change Y by, and we're gonna do negative five. Now later on, you can experiment and try different numbers, negative five, negative three, whatever you feel um, is, is what you like, okay? But we need it to be continuous. So anything, anytime we want something to be continuous, we use a forever block, or in this case, we're actually gonna use a repeat until. And I'll tell you why we're going to use a repeat until. I do not want the snowflakes to, to pile up on the bottom of the stage. Now, if you do, that's great, but I actually want them to disappear when they 
hit the bottom of the stage. I want them to delete. So we are going to tell the clones that if the Y position is less than negative 170, we want them to delete. So under green operators, get the block that says, you know, blank is less than blank. Okay. But what do we want? What are we talking about? We're talking about the Y position. So under blue motion, you want to get the Y position. It's at the bottom if, when you click on blue motion. If Y position is less than, and let's have it be 170, negative 170. And if you're looking for that negative sign, it's next to the number zero. When the clone hits the bottom of the screen, we want it to delete. So under orange control, scroll down and get delete this clone. All right, I think we are ready to test out our program. Here we go. Let's click the green flag and see if it runs. All right, well done. Congratulations. You learned how to clone snowflakes and now you have a beautiful winter night sky. Now, if you're looking for something extra fun to add to your snowflakes, this is a favorite of mine. Uh, this change color effect by is a lot of fun. So as the snowflakes are falling, you could have them changing colors. There are also lots of other effects you could experiment with. All right, I hope you had fun with this project. Please subscribe to my channel and yes, keep checking back for more fun holiday scratch projects.